Hi guys! Can you believe it? We made it. We did it. A whole week. You survived. Congratulations. Um, so, it's time for yoga. Um, I set up my mat in a space where I can move around a little bit. So if you have that option in your house. Oh man, look who came to say hi. Say hi to Lenny. If you have a puppy, you can invite them too. Um, so also something that I have been doing with my home practice is um, using my diffuser. So if you have one at home or like a really yummy smelling candle, um, take some time, press pause, go turn it on. And I'm learning all of these fun new tricks for filming yoga. Uh, so you'll notice that I switched the camera so that it's lengthwise, and I think that's supposed to be better. And if you guys have any feedback to offer, please send it my way. I can't wait to yoga with you guys. Plenty's gonna join us, and it's gonna be so fun. So let's get started. We're gonna start on our mat seated, and I'm not gonna play music, but I do have a playlist on Spotify. It's under K Dena Shah, and I think the one that I'll be using it will be called uh, Streamy. Streamy, yes. So if you want to play music in the background, but I think you can hear me better if I don't have any music going. So your call. Play whatever you want. So come to your mat seated. You can do crisscross applesauce. Um, just make your way to that space that's cozy and comfy. And then rest your hands on your knees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Palms face down. Finding grounding where you are. Let your shoulders relax. Maybe you swallow a few times to just clear your throat. Notice the length of your collarbones. Relax all the muscles in your face. Let your eyelids fall. Mm -hmm. And then draw the corners of your mouth up towards your ears. Just a soft smile. Greeting yourself with kindness, softness. And use this time just to move your body. With your eyes closed, draw a deep breath in through your nose, counting to five, four, three, two, one. Hold at the top of your breath. Gently let your breath go for six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause at the bottom. Two more just like that, so slow and steady in through the nose, counting to five, four, three, two, one. Holding that deep breath all the way down into your belly, and then through your nose, softly let that breath go for six, five, four, three, two, one. One more deep, slow, steady breath in through the nose. Maybe you count a little bit longer this time. The goal will be to just lengthen your exhales so they're longer than the inhales. And once you're ready, let that breath go through the nose. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Maintain the slow, steady breath in through your nose and out through your nose. And then we're going to start to move. You can keep your eyes closed. Start to circle your head over towards the right. Oh, maybe you have some snack crackle pops. Meet in the middle. Slowly circling your head so your shoulders maintain relaxed and heavy. And then gently begin to switch directions. And 
and luckily we don't have to be in a rush to go anywhere. <laughs> Beautiful. Gently come back to center. Keep your hands on your knees. Find a long spine. Hold for your inhale. Exhale, start to round the spine. So you're pressing the middle of your back towards the back of the room. It's kind of like a seated cat-cow. So really round the back. Take your navel in and up. And then inhale, lift your chest up. Stick your chest out as you work the shoulder blades down your back. Maybe you lift your gaze. And then coming back to your exhale, round the spine. Use your hands on your knees to help open up that upper back. If you're feeling soreness. Inhale, lifts you up. Find length between your ears and your shoulders, so really press your chest forward, lift the gaze. One more exhale round. Inhale, lift. And then exhale, come back to a neutral spine. Beautiful, cross at your ankles. Come forward onto all fours for tabletop pose. And then start to circle your hips over towards the left. So just making some circles with your hips. Slowly switch directions. Child's pose when you're ready. Send your toes together. Hips work back to your heels. Walk your hands forward so you're really lengthening out the spine here, finding full length. Relax your hips. So you can rest your head onto your mat and then keep tiptoeing the hands forward. So just crawling the hands forward, letting the hips work back. Walk the hands together as you press the palms together, bend at the elbows. Take the hands behind the back of your head. So press the elbows into your mat and maybe work the elbows forward slightly, working into those lats. Gently release, slowly come up onto all fours, back to your tabletop pose. Flip onto the tops of your hands so the fingertips face towards your knees. Opening up the wrists, coming back onto the palms, work the knees together, tuck the toes, and then send your hips towards your heels. So you're lifting your chest up, interlace your fingers behind your back. On your inhale, reach the fists down as you lift your chest up. Maybe you feel this in your biceps. Maybe you're just feeling this in your feet. Really stretch out those toes. If this is too uncomfortable for you, you can just release onto the tops of your feet. Keep lifting up through your chest. And then slowly release the bind. Round your spine, tucking your chin in towards your chest. Curl forward. Inhale, lift up. Twisting over towards the right. So take your right hand behind your seat. Maybe you grab the left ankle. Rest your left hand on top of the right thigh as you twist, looking over the right shoulder. Take your gaze over the left shoulder and then come back to center, switch sides. So reminding yourself that it doesn't matter how far you twist, it's more about keeping a long spine Use your breath on your exhale to twist deeper. Take the gaze over the right shoulder and then release the bind. Come back onto all fours, tabletop pose. You can release the toes, pat out the feet, and then come back to your tabletop. On your inhale, reach the right arm forward, tuck the right toes, and then extend the left leg back. So you're flexing that left foot. Your Hips are square to the mat, so you're not opening up. You're finding balance, kicking that left foot back, reaching forward, find length. Hold for your inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee, round. Curling your spine, just like you did in the cat pose. Inhale, reach out long. Exhale, round. Inhale, reach. 
Exhale, round one more. Inhale, reach out long. You can hold here or drop the left heel in towards your glute. Reach the right arm back. Take a hold of the top of the left foot. Kick your foot into your hand. Open up through the chest. Without slingshotting that left foot back, slowly release the bind. Release your right hand down. Then kick the left leg out to the left. Hold it up for one. Then release it down. Reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. And then thread the needle here. Thread the right arm in front of your chest over towards the left and lower onto the right cheek. Keep sending your hips back. As you relax your shoulders down, you can walk your left hand to the top left corner of your mat. You can deepen your twist here by reaching the left arm up towards the ceiling. Maybe you wrap the arm behind your back, taking an inside grip of the right thigh. All just options. And then slowly release. Walk your hands in, lift your chest up. Slide your left hand down your left leg. Reach the right arm up and over towards that left foot. Press your hips over towards the right. Find the side body stretch in the left side. So if you take the gaze up, you're opening up through the chest. Option to bend that right elbow, open up even deeper. Spread the right fingers out wide. Inhale, lifts you up, release the right hand down. As you lift the left leg back up, so take a look down at your mat. Your right hand should be underneath your right shoulder, stacking the bones. Reach the left arm up, left leg floats up. Modified side plank pose. And then you can hold here or kick that left heel back towards your glute. Take a hold of the top of the left foot. Press your foot into your hand as you send the hips forward. Slowly release, come back down. Coming into your tabletop pose, hands crawl forward, tuck the right toes, sweep the left leg up and back, three-legged dog, Woo. and then downward facing dog. Release that left foot down. So pedal up the legs here, bend into the left knee, work the right heel down as you straighten up through the right leg. And then switch sides. Focusing in on alignment in the downward facing dog. Notice that the feet are about hips width distance apart. Fingertips are spread, fingertips are gripping the mat as the fingers are spread out wide. So it's almost like you're holding dinner plates with your hands. You want your hands spread out wide. Press your chest towards your knees. Lengthen through the collarbones. Work the shoulder blades down your back so it might feel like you're Head is lowering down towards the mat. As you find length in your spine, your knees can stay bent. The goal is to work the tailbone up. So you really feel that stretch in your hamstrings. It's not about having straight legs. It's more about feeling that stretch. Beautiful. Work the feet in towards each other. So the feet are squeezing in. On your inhale, lift the heels. Roll forward like a wave into your plank pose. Your alignment should be where your wrists are in line with your shoulders. Core is tight. Upper back is puffing, puffing up. And then lower the knees down. Keep your elbows hugged in, lower your chest, and then lower down onto your chin. Gently lower down onto your belly. Sphinx pose, come onto your forearms. Work the shoulder blades down your back. Relax your belly here. Slowly lower all the way down onto your belly. Rest on your right cheek. Take your arms out wide to a T, palms face down. Rolling onto the right hip, step your left foot behind the right thigh. Working into the right shoulder. So you can take your left hand underneath the left shoulder, pressing deeper over into that right shoulder. Softly roll down onto your belly. Left leg extends out and then moving into the other side. Stretch the left arm out. Step the right foot behind the left thigh.
Slowly lower back down. Take the hands to hug the rib cage. Baby cobra pose. So keep your face down at the mat. So the gaze is down at your mat, back of the neck is long. You don't want to strain your cervical spine. So as you're doing this, you're only lifting your chest up. This low back area should be on fire. You can reach back and feel those little back muscles. Lengthen through your collarbones, relax your glutes, engage the quadriceps, press into the tops of the feet. Hold your breath, not the pose. Exhale, lower. One more, inhale, lift. Squeeze the elbows in towards each other so you're really lengthening through the collarbones. Gaze remains down at the mat. Maybe you float the hands this time. So they're just floating up. Exhale, lower. Child's pose on your inhale. Send the hips back to the heels. Walk the hands forward. Come up onto all fours for your tabletop pose. This time, extend the right leg back, tuck the left toes, reach the left arm forward. Hold for your inhale, find that core strength. Exhale, round knee to elbow. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round. One more, inhale, reach. Exhale, round. Reach it out long, release the left hand down. Kick the left foot out to the left, holding for one. And then release the left, the right foot down. Every time, I gotta do something. Lifting your chest up, slide the right hand down the right leg. Reach the left arm up and over, stretching out that left side body. And you can hold here, or maybe you bend at the elbow, open up your chest. Inhale, lifts you up, release the left hand down. Reach the right arm up, and then start to lift that right leg up. Bend the heel in towards your glute. Take a hold at the top of the foot. Press your foot into your hand. As you press the hips forward, open up through the chest. Slowly release that body. Inhale, lifts you up. Hands come down, back into your tabletop pose. Ground down through the right hand, reach the left arm up towards the ceiling, and then thread the needle from here. Draw the left arm in front of your chest, lower on to the left cheek. Option to hold here, or maybe you reach the right arm up, take a hold of the inside of your left thigh. Release the bind if you have it. And then coming into your tabletop pose, we'll work our way into downward facing dog, tuck the left toes, run down through the hands, sweep the right leg up and back, three-legged dog, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Pedal out the legs. Take the gaze forward, lift the heels. Stay as high on the heels as you can as you tiptoe your way to the top of the mat. Forward fold when you get there. So feet again are about hips width distance apart. You can take your two fists and place them in between your feet. If you want to, <laughs> if you want to try and find that alignment yourself. Keep a gentle bend in your knees. So it's more about letting your head hang heavy. There's no weight in the upper body that you're holding on to. You can sway side to side, you can grab opposite elbows, you can nod your head yes, shake it no. The goal of all of this is to just release the tension. We're always like cranking our head, holding our shoulders up towards our ears. Let that go. So the belly is soft here. Maybe you start to play with shifting the weight into the balls of the feet, become light in the heels. Maybe you even start to lift the heels a little bit. Slowly release down, ground down through the feet, release the bind of the elbows if you had it, and one vertebrae at a time, roll up to standing. Crown of the head is the last to lift. Once you get there, circle the shoulders up towards your ears. Exhale, roll the shoulder blades down the back. Whew. On your inhale, 
Work the feet together, sweep the arms up, palms touch. Exhale, draw the hands down to the midline, thumbs meet the sternum, bow your head. Inhale, circle the arms up, palms touch. Exhale, bend the elbows, spread the fingers out wide, press your chest forward. Maybe work the elbows back towards each other, slight back bend, send the hips forward. Inhale, lifts you up. Exhale, forward fold, let it go. Inhale, halfway lift. So lengthen the spine, coming light on the fingertips. Send the hips back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, one more halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands. Step back, plank pose. Hold your plank pose. Three, two, one. Lower down halfway, chaturanga. So your elbows are squeezing in. You're not dropping your hips. You're not letting your belly out. Keep everything tight. Inhale, upward facing dog. Thighs are lifted. Lengthen the collarbones. You're on the tops of the feet. Exhale, use your core to lift the hips up and back into your downward facing dog. Right leg lifts on your inhale, flex the foot, toes face down towards the ground. So you're not opening up the hips here, you're not trying to lift that right foot up, it's more about working into the left hamstring, grounding down through that left foot to work the right heel up higher. Hold for your inhale, exhale, knee to nose round. Taking the shoulders forward, inhale up and back. Exhale, knee to nose, round. Inhale, up and back. Keep your shin high as you go knee to nose, round. Hold for three, two, one. Step through for your right leg, lunge, low lunge. Release the left knee down, release the left toes. Walk the hands up on top of the right thigh. Sink the hips. And then twist at the waist. Send the left arm forward, right arm back. Press the hands together, thumbs meet the sternum, hook the left elbow to the outside of the right thigh, find the twist. Release the hands to frame the left foot, hamstring stretch, slide the hips back, maybe come onto the heel of the right foot, send the toes up. Try to focus on taking the rounding out of the upper back, so sticking the tailbone out, find length through the spine. Come back into your right leg lunge. Hands frame the right foot, tuck the left toes, lift the left knee. Crescent warrior, so ground down, root to rise. You're staying on the ball of the left foot. Inhale, lifts you up. Hips are square to the front of the room, or wherever you're facing, forward. And then take the arms out wide to a T, palms face forward. Wrap the left arm underneath the right. Once or twice, maybe you grab shoulders. Maybe you press the backs of the hands together or wrap all the way. Inhale, lift the elbows. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift up, release the bind. Circle the arms up, palms touch. Exhale, flow it out, plant the hands. Sweep the right leg up and back, three-legged dog. And then release the right foot behind the left. Crossing at the ankles. So the ankles are crossed here. Right ankles behind the left. Press the hips back. So it's a deeper stretch into the calves, into the hamstrings. And then walk the hands back to meet the feet at the back of your mat. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Press the right hand down into your mat. Take the left hand to the crease of your left hip. So the right hand is down. Left hand comes into the crease of the left hip. So you're squaring the hips. And maybe you hold here, or maybe you take a look up over your left shoulder, open up and twist. Lift that left arm up towards the ceiling. Hands release down to frame the feet. 
and then walk it forward into your plank pose with the ankles crossed. Hold for your inhale, exhale, lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, press up plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank, uncross the ankles, downward facing dog. Inhale, take the gaze forward, step, hop, float the feet to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, chair pose, sink the hips, sweep the arms up, plug the shoulder blades down, tilt the tailbone down, so you're tucking it in, you're using your core. Sink a little deeper. Inhale, lifts you all the way up. Exhale, slight back bend. So spreading those elbows out wide. Fingertips are spread out wide. Maybe take your hands to the low back. Fingertips face down. Pressing your hips forward slightly. Lift the chest up. So you're not just dumping into the low back. You're lifting. Squeeze the elbows in. Exhale, forward fold. Let it go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, flow it out, plant the hands. Step or hop back into your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal the legs out here. Then left leg lifts on your inhale, flex the foot, keep the hips square to start. Hold for your inhale. Exhale, knee the nose round. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, knee the nose, round, shifting forward. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, round, hold for three, two, one. Step through for your left leg, lunge. Low lunge, release the right knee down, release the right toes. Walk the hands on top of the left thigh. Sink the hips. Sweep the arms up. Exhale, reach the right arm forward, left arm back. And then press the hands together, twisting into the lunge. Look, hook the right elbow to the outside of the left thigh. Use that knee to help draw the thumbs back to meet the sternum. Maybe you take the gaze over the left shoulder. Find your balance. Slowly release the hands to frame the left foot. Hamstring stretch, send the hips back as you lengthen the spine, bowing forward. So they always used to say when I would take class and, and they would teach this, try and get your nose to your toes. So instead of taking your nose to your knees, you want to lengthen, setting the tailbone back, lengthen the spine. Come back into your right leg lunge, plant the hands. Setting up for crescent warrior, tuck the right toes, lift the right knee, ground down, root to rise. Inhale, find your balance. Lifting up, open the arms out wide to a T, palms face forward. This time, wrap the right arm underneath the left, grabbing the shoulders, pressing the backs of the hands together, and keep wrapping. Inhale, lifts you up. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Unwind. <clears throat> and then flow it out. Hands frame the left foot, sweep the left leg up and back, and then cross the left ankle behind the left, the left ankle behind the right. <laughs> Walk the hands back to meet your feet, back at the mat, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, and exhale, fold deeper. Ground down through the left hand, take your right hand to the inside of your right hip, And maybe you hold here, sending that right hip back, folding forward more, or reach the right arm up. Maybe you even take a bind behind your back, wrap the right arm behind your back, inside grip with the left thigh. Find your balance. Exhale, let it go, forward fold. Walk the hands forward, coming into your plank pose with the ankles crossed. Hold for your inhale, exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Uncross the ankles, downward facing dog. 
Heel toe, the feet about hips width distance apart. Walk the hands back to meet your feet. Back up the mat, forward fold. So lift the balls of your feet. Flip the hands so you can slide the hands underneath the feet. Fingers face towards the heels. So your feet are pressing onto, you're on the, you're standing on your feet. So toes are meeting the wrists, palms face up. Start to play with shifting the weight into the balls of your feet. Maybe you become light in heels. And then release that down forward fold. Walk back into your downward facing dog. Take the gaze forward. Step, hop, float the feet to the top of your mat, forward fold. Maybe you play with a handstand or just play with hopping. Heel toe the feet in to touch, squeeze the thighs together, chair pose on your inhale. Sink the hips, sweep the arms up. Take a look down at your mat. Make sure you can see your toes. If you cannot, send the heels back slightly, or send the knees back slightly, and then start to become light in the heels. So you're lifting the heels. Keep squeezing the thighs together. Sink the hips a little bit lower. Inhale, lifts you up. Release the hands behind your back. Release the heels down. Interlace the fingers. Inhale, reach the fist down as you lift your chest up. Exhale, bend the knees, press your belly to your thighs, forward fold, with the fingers interlaced. Let the fingers lift you, lift up and back as you come into that forward fold. So you can keep a bend in your knees, let gravity work for you. Hold for one more breath. Exhale, let go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, flow it out through your vinyasa. Plant the hands, step or hop back into your plank pose. Lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. This time, open up the hip, stack the right hip on top of the left. Point the right toes up towards your ceiling, ground down through that left foot. Work the right shoulder down. So remember, the fingers are spread out wide, just like we did in our first downward facing dog. You're finding that foundation and moving on. So keep reaching that right foot up. Draw your right heel in towards your glute. Hold for your inhale. Exhale, knee to nose, round. This time, circle your right knee up and back, making a big hip circle. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, right knee, right tricep, tap. Keep the right knee up high. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, cross the body, right knee, left tricep, tap. And then kick the right foot out to the left, fall in triangle. So flex the right foot, boost the hips, reach the left arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, release the left hand down. Optional push up here as you come back into your downward facing dog. Lifting the right leg up. Exhale, right foot in between the hands. Warrior one, so dial the left heel in. Root to rise, hips are square to the front of the room. Inhale, lifts you up. So you can see here, hips are square. Send the left hip forward, right hip back. Sink the hips down. Reach the arms up, plug the shoulder blades down. Keep the core tight so you're not opening up through the rib cage. Keep the core tight. Beautiful. Take the hands behind your back, interlace the fingers. So squeeze the hands together as you lift your chest up. Exhale, humble warrior. So bow forward, take your right shoulder to your right knee. Inhale, lifts you up, release the body. Take your hands together, thumbs to the sternum. Spin onto the ball of the left foot, lean forward. Warrior three, left leg lifts. Inhale, lifts you up, standing figure four, draw the left knee in towards your chest. 
Cross the left ankle on top of the right thigh. Flex the left foot. Sink the hips. Interlace the fingers. Stretch the hands forward as you flip the palms. Sink a little lower. And you can hold here. You can play with folding forward. Press the hands together. Hook the left foot to the outside of the right tricep up here. So create a shelf with your arms and then plant the hands, flying pigeon pose. Squeeze, 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 become light. And then maybe kick the right leg back. Options to play. We'll all end up in our forward fold. Release the left foot down. Let the head hang heavy, shake it out. Ground down, root to rise, lift up. Circle the arms up, palms touch. Exhale, hands down to the middle, thumbs to the sternum. Inhale, circle the arms up, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold, flow it up. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, plank pose. Shift forward, inhale. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts on your uh, inhale. Ground down through the right foot, open up the hip, stack the left hip on top of the right. Work the left shoulder down, collar bones are long. Draw the left heel into your glute. Keep reaching the left knee up. Hold for your inhale. Exhale, knee to nose, round. Inhale, circle the left knee up and back. Exhale, knee to nose, round. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, cross the body, left knee, right tricep, and then kick it up for your full and triangle. Reach the right arm up. Release that left hand, right hand down. Optional push-up. And then sweep the left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Set the left foot in between the hands. Set up for your warrior one. So dial the right heel in. Root to rise, ground down. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Humble warrior, release the hands behind your back. Interlace the fingers. Stretch the fist down, lift your chest up. Exhale, bow forward, take the left shoulder to the left knee. Inhale, lifts you up. Release the bind. Press the hands together. Slide the thumbs down to your chest. Spin to the ball of the back foot, lifting the heel up. Come forward, warrior three. Flex the right foot. Inhale, lifts you up. Coming into pigeon pose, standing. Or figure four, so flex the right foot. Bend the left knee, start to sink the hips. Interlace the fingers, flip the palms, stretch them forward. Keep sinking a little bit lower, find your balance. And then maybe you play with the flying pigeon pose. So the hands come down, shoulders width distance apart, Fingers spread out wide. Hook the right foot to the outside of the left tricep as high as you can. So really creating a shelf. Plant the hands. Start to shift forward. Focus on the spot on the ground. Start to lift that left heel in. Maybe you extend the left heel up and back. Exhale, forward fold. Let it all go. Slowly lift up to standing on your inhale. Sweep the arms up, palms touch. Exhale, hands come down to the middle, thumbs to the sternum, bow your head in. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, flow it out, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, plank, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hips work up and back. On your inhale, right leg lifts. 
Exhale, leave the nose round. Step through, warrior two this time. So dial the back foot in. Circle the arms up, cartwheeling open. This time, hips are open towards the left. Palms face down. So take a look down your right leg. Make sure you can see your right big toe. Flip the palms so they're facing up and relax your shoulders down. And flip the palms back down. Right hand reaches forward. Exhale, reach up and back. Straighten out through the right leg, keep reaching back. Inhale, lifts you up, take your hands to your hips. Dial the right toes in. Setting up for a wide-legged forward fold. So toes are in, heels are out. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, send the hips back, bow forward. Hands come down underneath your shoulders. And bending side to side. Bend into your left knee. Sink the hips down. So maybe you just crawl the hands forward as you sink the hips back. If you have the space, maybe you sink the hips all the way down, coming onto the heel of the right foot, toes face up. Hold here. And then we're gonna to start to pulse. Mm -hmm. Crawl forward, bend into your right knee, open up for your two. Inhale, palms meet each other, straighten out through the right leg. Exhale, bend into the left knee, lower the hips down. Inhale, lifts you up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend the left knee, sink the hips. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend into your warrior two. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink the hips. One more, inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink the hips all the way down. And you can hold here, just like we just were in, or you can come all the way down onto your seat. If you have the space, maybe you start to stretch the right hand down the right leg, reach the left arm up, open up through your chest. You can work deeper into the stretch, take a hold of the left ankle with your right hand, reach the left arm up and over towards that right foot, keep your chest lifted and open, Inhale, lifts you up. We're gonna make our way into a Spider-Man lunge. So crawl your way to the top of the mat, bending into the right knee. Hands come to the inside of the right foot, drop the left knee down, release the left toes. So your hands are on the inside of that right foot. Sink the hips. Hold here. If you're holding here, you wanna keep the right knee in towards your right elbow. As long as you can keep a long spine, you can lower down onto your elbows, onto your forearms. We'll all come back onto our palms, tuck the left toes, lift the left knee, and step the left foot to the outside of the right of the left hand. Yogi squat. Sink the hips, lift your chest, press your hands together, thumbs to the sternum. Okay, you can play with your crow pose if you want. If you want to play with crow pose, wrists in line with the shoulders. Keep the elbows squeezed in. Lengthen through the chest. Lift your hips up high. Work the knees to the tops of the triceps. And then maybe you just play with lifting the heels. Maybe you play with toe taps. Take your right toes to your right wrist. Left toes to the left, left wrist. Right, left knee. Flow it out whenever you're ready. We'll meet back in downward facing dog. So if you're in crow pose and you want to shoot it back, something fun to play with. If you shoot it back, keep your, um, keep your feet flexed. So you want to land on the balls of the feet. So if you're in crow pose, Send the legs back, shoot them back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts on your inhale. <laughs> Exhale, knee to nose, round warrior two. 
Cartwheel the arms open. Hips are open. Left arm is reaching forward. So tuck the tailbone. Make sure your left knee isn't working in. Keep working it out. Flip the left hand, reach forward, inhale. Exhale, reach the left arm up and back. Keep lay, stretching your left arm back as you lengthen out through the right, the left leg. So you're just straightening out that left leg. Inhale, lifts you up. Set out for a wide-legged forward fold on this side. So dial the left toes in. Toes are in slightly, heels are out. And you can shorten your stance too. On your inhale, take your hands behind your back. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, forward fold. Starting to lean forward. Slowly release the bind. Hands come down onto your mat. Ground down through the left hand, reach the right arm up, twist. Maybe you hold here, or maybe you wrap the right arm behind your back, inside grip with the left thigh. Maybe you take a hold of the right ankle with the left hand. Keep twisting. And then switch sides. Release the right hand down, reach the left arm up. Take that bind. Maybe you take the ankle. Hi, Blaine. Hi. And then come back. Yay. All right, we've got to wrap this up. It's almost just dinner time. Come back into your wide-legged. Bend into the right knee. Lengthen out through the left leg. Sink the hips. Coming into that Spider-Man stretch. As low as what feels good. And then we're going to pulse. Circle the arms up. Open up, warrior two. Inhale, lengthen out through the left leg. Palms touch. Exhale, bend into the right knee. Sink the hips. Inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink the hips. Inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink the hips all the way down. So find that stretch. Maybe you open up the arms. Maybe take the left, sink the hips. Take the left hand to the left ankle. Reach the right arm up. Maybe you reach all the way up and over. Take the left hand to the right ankle. Gaze comes up. Slowly come back up. Come into your Spider-Man lunge. So bend into the left knee. Walk the hands forward to the inside of that left foot. Walk the right foot leg back. Release the right knee down, release the right toes. And notice here, I have a long spine. So if you start to find that you're rounding your upper back, but you're still coming down onto your elbows, that's not where you wanna be. You wanna keep the length. Don't sacrifice the length just to get to where you think you should be or want to go. The deepest expression, it doesn't matter. No one's watching. Huh. <laughs> and then everyone come back down onto your hands. Tuck the right toes. Lift the right knee. Come into that yogi squat. Step the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Sink the hips. Lift the chest. Use the elbows to open up the hips. And then come onto your seat. Press the feet down in front of you. Walk the hands back, fingertips face towards your hips. Lift the hips up for a reverse tabletop pose on your inhale. Lift the hips. Exhale, lower the hips down. Boat pose. So find a long spine. Become light on your fingertips so they're next to your hips. And then start to lift the heels, keep the knees in. So make sure that you're not rounding the upper back, you're not dumping into that low back. Keep the chest lifted. And maybe that means you just lift the heels up and you stay on your tiptoes, that's okay. Maybe you reach one hand forward or the other. Hold, exhale, low boat. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, 
Exhale, lower, hold. And then scissor kicks. I know. Ten more. Keep your low back pressing into the mat. Core is engaged. And release. Stretch out as long as you can. Yay, we made it onto our backs. Beautiful. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. You can rock side to side. Keep the right knee drawn in. Extend the left leg out long. Flex and point the right foot. Maybe you circle the ankle. Take a hold of the right shin with your left hand. Reach the right arm out to the side. Twisting, take the right knee over to the left. Relax your shoulders here. Slowly come back to center. Draw the left right knee back in and then bend the left leg. So plant the left foot on the ground. Recline pigeon pose, cross the right ankle on top of the left, and then draw the left knee in, taking a hold, wrapping your hands behind the left thigh or around the left shin. Shoulders are relaxed, spine is long. Release the bind and then cross the right thigh on top of the left. So it's like you're sitting cross-legged in a chair and then grab opposite feet. So the outsides of opposite feet. I know it sounds kind of funny, but all we're doing is this reclined. So you're on your back. Beautiful. Slowing down your breath. Release that. Extend the legs straight up towards the ceiling. Flex the feet. And you can hold here. Or if you want to take plow pose, kick the feet over your head, keeping the gaze straight up to the ceiling. You don't want to take your head side to side. Shoulders are relaxed. The feet up and over. And you can hold here, work into a shoulder stand, take your hands behind your hips. Use your hands to support the low back. Squeeze the legs together, point the toes up. You can hold here or release the hands, interlace the fingers, press the hands into the mat. Work the hips to stack on top of the shoulders. And then as slowly as you can, lower down. Draw the left knee in, extend the right leg out long. Flex and point the left foot. Circle the ankle. Reach the left arm out to the side. And then take the left knee across the body over towards the right. Taking that twist. Relax the left shoulder down. Maybe work the right shoulder over towards the right a little bit more to find a little bit of a deeper stretch. Relax your face. Come back to center. Keep the left knee in, bend the right knee. Recline pigeon pose, cross the left foot on top of the right thigh. Flex the left foot, draw the right knee in. Take all behind the right thigh or around the right chin. Relax your shoulders so you'll notice the space in between your ears and your shoulders. Then lengthen the back of your neck. And then cross the left thigh on top of the right. Take a hold of the outside of both feet. Maybe this side feels different for you like it does for me. Slowly unwind, extend the legs straight up, 
happy baby pose. Bend the knees to the outsides of your ribs. Thread the arms in between your knees and then take an outside grip of the feet. Rock side to side. Recline butterfly pose. Take the feet together. Release them down onto the ground. Knees are out wide, toes are together. Rest your right hand on top of your belly, left hand over your heart. Let your eyes close. Slowing down the breath. Let gravity do the rest of the work for you. So as you settle in here, start to notice the way that the air feels as it fills your lungs. Lengthening each breath. Starting to draw appreciation around the time that you have right now. With all this chaos, all of this confusion, the unknowing, not letting that overwhelm us and maybe playing with the idea that the stuff isn't just happening to us, it might be happening for us. You can come into your final shavasana if you haven't done so already. Just extend the legs out long, come into the most comfortable space. Rest your hands next to your sides with the palms face up. Eyes are closed. So with the idea that maybe this is happening for us. Not to us. drawing appreciation around the opportunities that are available to you now. To roll at your mat at home, to have your dog join in, to light that candle that has never been lit, to breathe deeply, Allow the time to pass and focus on being fully present, scanning the body, notice each space, each sensation. you to continue to chill as long as you'd like. I hope you all have an amazing day, rest of your week. I can't wait to see everyone soon, but I will tell you, it is the greatest gift getting to post this and share it with you guys and still feel super connected to all my favorite people. So thank you guys for tuning in and see you soon. Hang in there.